I, I'm, I'm the dude in real life. Yeah. So first thing this guy says is, hey, you're the cop from TikTok. Yes, I am. And no, I'm not verified. And I can't figure out how. I've, uh, Sam and I have submitted it. We've submitted articles from the New York Post. Uh, it's not good enough. So I don't know what it is about Beijing. They, they just will not verify me. So it's still in the works. Uh, from the last time I mentioned this, we've been denied since then. So we're gonna, we might even do it after I make this video. We're gonna get on there. Uh, you can only do it once every 30 days. So we're, we're available. We're gonna submit it and see if I can get that verification for you guys. But it's TikTok's fault. So write them a letter. See your driver's license. Yes, All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Service Traffic Unit. Am I gonna be on Facebook? Um, it kind of, I see that. I don't know, maybe. It's his decision if you're on Facebook or not. It's up to Sam. So, uh, so I stopped you for two separate reasons. One, you're double the speed limit. Speed limit on this road is 25 miles an hour. Your speed was, I locked you in at 50 coming at me. Uh, secondly, Quick. you don't have a license plate on your trailer. And There's no license plate on it? Are you sure? Did you look underneath by the, the leaf springs? Maybe? I'm you want to sure. hop on out and show me? I cannot. It's dude, big dude. Now that makes two of us that don't see a license yep, plate on this thing. You're 100% right. So, I, this, I don't make stuff up, man, I promise. You really don't. I, sometimes the internet says I do, but I don't. No, I, I, I do. I, I stood up at like 2 o'clock in the morning watching that stuff, man. It's, it's hilarious. Hey, I just got pulled over for the trailer not having any life or uh, license plate on it. I'm right here by the gas station on Ironwood. Um, I was, and uh, I was also doing, I guess, double the speed limit, so I was going like 50. When he, I thought you were going to leave that out. Yeah, I, no, I wasn't going to leave it out. out. No, but. All right, have a seat back in there. You're in TikTok? Is that what? Yeah, so, dude, he's, he's so funny. Yes, the sheriff's office isn't on TikTok. The sheriff's office is on Facebook and YouTube, um, and they make educational videos about uh, driving, right, right. traffic With infractions like this one, criminal speed, things that I stop people for. Uh, he might, yeah. So, hey, this movie should I, make, should I go crazy? Just like, do you? So, okay. my cameraman, who obviously yeah. I'm, I'm mic'd up. Yeah. No. So, what he is looking for is for someone to go absolutely crazy because it makes the internet happen. Yeah. So what it's when people are super cool. If I wasn't so what scared of you guys, I would have told you. Dude, it's in here somewhere. As long as He's back. Any, as long as you don't point a gun at me. I'm nah, okay. man. Nah, man. I only point guns at people that run at me with knives and do stuff like that. Dude, that's like a... <laughs> Dude, this is all over. Dude, you look like a you got it's looks like a the inside of a chick's handbag. Dude, it's all receipts. I have to keep all of them for Yeah, that's hey man, that's that's the business world. This guy must have a puppy. And uh, it decided to use this license like a chew toy. Um, now he's gonna need to get a new license anyway. His license is suspended for an accumulation of points, yeah. which means that he's a habitual offender of moving violations. Um, so just a whole bunch of stuff that's that's wrong with this guy. He's super cool. Um, but he's still gonna get a couple couple criminal tickets today. Used to be a bad dude. Used to be, man. Yeah, man, you're a super cool dude now. I know. It's just I liked it. Your life, you know what that is? It's growing up. Yeah. It really is. So, and that's it. So <laughs> I, I want to let you know that I recognize that you being super cool is awesome because probably 15 years ago, you probably would have took me and threw me over that fence. <laughs> over that fence were two awesome donkeys. It was a mama donkey and a baby donkey. And once I got done with this traffic stop and the guy with the good license drove away, I went and pet that donkey. Um, Sam took pictures of it, but I, uh, it was one of my favorite cutaways because that little baby donkey was awesome. And I took time out of my day to pet him because he needed some pets. So, <laughs> so I appreciate you being cool, man. Do you happen to have a good license? Yes, sir. Can you drive? I appreciate that. If you guys could do the old fire drill. Questions for either one of you that you can hop on out, you're safe, there's no one coming. Uh, can you put me on, uh, give me Facebook famous? Uh, it might be, that, that might end up happening. We you are your face, man, so. But I mean, it's, it's not very many six foot seven dudes I pull over, so. <laughs> but they're gonna know it's you anyway. Hey, let's take a picture, dude, come on. So you can see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. Man, dude, Sam, Sam, we need a picture. Come here, man. <laughs> uh, Get over here, dude. The internet has wanted to see Sam because he spends most of his time behind the camera. This was one of, one of Sam's cameos. Like in episode 33, he, like you could see him walking up to get a better view of that guy that was yelling at me. Um, this is it too, where I was like, hey Sam, I need you to come take a picture. And um, again, driver was super cool, nice guy. He says, hey, can we take a picture? He wanted his buddy in it, so I called, uh, I called my official photographer. Um, and then Sam stopped videoing, and then went up, took a picture of us. Um, we all shook hands, 
I thank them for being cool. They thank me for being cool. Um, just an overall really positive interaction uh, with these two guys. And they were just, they were awesome. They weren't doing things right, but at least they were really nice about it. Hop on out for me. Come talk to me. I'll take oh, that. I'll take your driver's license just so I know who you are. Thanks. Hop on out. Awesome. Put your hands right up here. So right now you're under arrest. All right. Two Charlie 33, code 20. So, why in the name of God's green earth are you driving that fast? No, sure, sure. Check right. Just lean right there. Sam, because it's what Sam does, blurred this kid's face out. But what you couldn't see is he just had this like smirk, like this just. Like he, like I was inconveniencing him um, through the whole thing, and it just, I got that overwhelming urge that he wasn't taking it seriously, and that simply issuing a citation for this um, would not have, have remedied the problem, and he wouldn't have totally understood the gravity of the circumstances. Do you have any idea what your top speed was? Uh, 120. 120? I think I locked you in at 121 or 122. You know what the speed limit on this road is? Uh, I believe it's 55. It's 50. So why uh, are you driving more than double the speed limit on a 50 mile an hour road? I was just trying to get I know, I know it's not a perfect excuse for driving that high. Well, there is no excuse. So saying that it's perfect, no, that no, it's no, not no, a perfect no. excuse, would mean no, that no, there no. is a perfect excuse, no, and there isn't one. No, no, no. Top 16, I have one in custody. I okay. Uh, oh, you actually look exactly the way you do in your picture, too. Okay. Yeah, I get on the radio, I say, hey, is there a posse available? Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office runs on posse. Um, they, they help us out but so much in so many different ways. One of the major ways, especially us in the traffic unit, is they transport our people to jail for us. Um, so my first call is to them. If there's someone out there who's a volunteer um, and they're not busy doing something, they would have come, uh, grabbed him, taken him to jail. I just would have did all the paperwork, submitted it electronically, and we're done. Keeps it super easy. Um, at this time, the dispatcher tells me that there wasn't any posse available. Um, at which time my another guy in the traffic unit who also happened to be down there uh, working a traffic detail came, um, grabbed that guy and he transported him to jail for me. But what that does is it takes a deputy off the road. So when we can, we try to use posse um, so that the enforcement guys can do enforcement stuff and then posse helps us out doing what they do. Um, and they're awesome. I can't say enough good stuff about them. In Charlie. Okay. You're just totally okay with 120 something miles an hour and a 50. Yep. You're just like, that's a good idea. Oh, no. I just, Top 16, that's negative. I just trying to get home quick. Just trying to get home. That's it. Just that's trying to get home. Just trying to get home. Okay. You, you need to go to jail. That's what you need to go. All right. So, all right. what I want you to do is stand up here. Just lean right back there. Perfect. So, someone that I have to notify to come get my vehicle? Or oh, no, I'm going to tow it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, like, okay. I, I am shocked at the lack of remorse. How totally okay you are with not only the criminal offense of excessive speed, but also reckless driving for passing all those cars. You're going through a neighborhood here. I mean, someone we're in we're in someone's backyard right now. Like, there's. People walk and ride their bikes and horses through here, and you're just like, 120 oh, something. That's totally fine. I, I just, I, I, no response. How old are you? You have to be in the, of course. Again. Your generation, I'm telling you. I don't, I, I just, I was. Just stand there. This whole stop started, uh, we're in a line of traffic. So I have cars in front of me, cars behind me. I'm just going with the flow of traffic. Uh, it's a two lane road, one lane in each direction. Um, I look in my rear view mirror and I 
tell Sam, I'm like, hey, look at this. And then this guy blows my doors off. Um, so he passes like four or five cars all in a row and then cuts back and just continues at that speed. So the speed that I got him on wasn't when he was in the act of passing. It was after I had pulled out in behind him, he had come back into the lane. I was behind him and then I locked that speed of 100 and I think it was 120 is what I got him at. You've seen me make traffic stops. I've said, hey, you're under arrest. You're not free to go. Um, same thing today, but at 70 miles an hour above the posted speed limit um, where that speed becomes reckless and showing no remorse and, and no regret for doing that that violation that endangers everyone on the road. Including um, me. That's why I made that decision to take that guy into custody and to book him into jail. So you're gonna come with me today? Anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, stab me? No, anything on you you're not supposed to have? Anything on you that you wanna keep in the car? Um, like I presume you want your phone and wallet. It may just be his age um, that he didn't understand that there's consequences for committing criminal offenses. But that reckless curve. behavior where you're endangering so many people and making me drive at that speed to catch him, to take him into custody, um, those are all the things that go into that decision. Um, so that's why he's on his way to jail. His car is on the way to car jail. It's going to be a little bit of a kind of a steep climb because we're on the angle, but I'll help you up. There we go. Get on in there. Left leg first, then I'll just kind of lean on me and one, two, three. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Got the AC going so you get a little bit airflow, okay? These are all roads that lead to people's neighborhoods. Um, people expect cars on this road to be traveling at 50 miles an hour. So at 70 miles an hour over the speed limit, um, if someone were to have seen him coming and expected that a car was going 50 miles an hour, they're gonna pull out in front of him and cause a collision. 